Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for August 17th. Today's devotion is titled Trusting the Bible. And the Bible reading is from Jeremiah chapter 15, verses 15 to 21. Lord, you understand. Remember me and care for me. Avenge me <clears throat> on my per- persecutors. Persecutors. <clears throat> you are long suffering. Do not take me away. Think of how I suffer reproach for your sake. When your words came, I ate them. They were my joy and my heart's delight, for I bear your name. Lord God Almighty, I never sat in the company of revelers, never made merry with them. I sat alone because your hand, <clears throat> excuse me, because your hand was on me, and you had filled me with indignation. Why is my pain unending, and my wound grievous and incurable? You are to me like a deceptive brook, like a spring that fails. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. If you repent, I will restore you, that you may serve me. If you utter worthy, not worthless words, you will be my spokesman. Let this people turn to you, but you must not turn to them. I will make you a wall to this people, a fortified wall of bronze. They will fight against you, but will not overcome you. For I am with you to rescue and save you, declares the Lord. I will save you from the hands of the wicked and deliver you from the grasp of the cruel. Billy Graham, the renowned American evangelist, once described his struggle to accept the Bible as completely true. One night as he walked alone in the moonlight at a retreat center in the San Bernardino Mountains, he dropped to his knees and placed his Bible on a tree stump, able only to stutter a prayer. Oh God, there are many things in this book I do not understand. By confessing his confusion, Graham said the Holy Spirit finally freed me to say it. Father, I am going to accept this as thy word by faith. When he stood up, he still had questions, but he said, I knew a spiritual battle in my soul had been fought and won. The young prophet Jeremiah fought spiritual battles too yet he consistently sought answers in scripture. When your words came, I ate them. They were my joy and my heart's delight, he declared. The word of the Lord is in my heart like a fire, a fire shut up in my bones. 19th century evangelist Charles Spurgeon wrote, Jeremiah lets lets us into a secret his outer life, especially his faithful ministry, was due to his inward love of the word which he preached. We too can shape our life through the wisdom of scripture despite our struggles. We can keep studying as always by faith. How has your life been shaped by scripture? And as you accept it by faith, how do you expect your life to change? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.